Hi everyone, hope, uh, I hope you've seen the other videos, part 1, part 2, part 3 and part 4. I'm just going to briefly demonstrate a few things quickly. So this is the low pass filter, let me just uh, zoom in here. Hopefully you can see that. <clears throat> so this coil yeah has uh, 16 turns this one also 16 and this one has 23 turns depending on the thickness of your wire uh, it might vary a little bit if you do it the same as uh, in the PDF instructions you'll probably get uh, similar sort of readings but but for me personally, this is what I find the best on my spectrum analyzer. <clears throat> the second coil, actually, this is the first coil, this inductor there. This is the second coil. This one, uh, to get your up, up to 5 watts output, you need to stretch this one a little bit. <clears throat> you can see I've stretched it a bit. So if you if you do the modification and you find that uh, the power output is about three watts or four watts, just stretch this one out and uh, you should get uh, up to five watts. Four point five to five watts is uh, pretty much what you'll get. This one, uh, this coil, the third one. This one I find if you move it a little bit to the left or move it a little bit to the right, it changes the harmonic content of it. This one, uh, the fourth coil, I just leave as is. It doesn't do much. <clears throat> so, I'll show you the uh, harmonic content after this uh, modification. I'm just going to put it all back together. I think I'll just show you something first. If you um, if you're gonna test it like this without putting it back together in the casing, you will find the harmonic content and power levels will be slightly different. Once you once you put it all back together in yeah, you'll see it will actually change a little bit. So I'm just gonna demonstrate quickly. So I'm using the tiny tiny SA Ultra for the uh, spectrum analyzer. <clears throat> it's going to put uh, eight volts on here. So, everybody's favorite frequency. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit, yeah? <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna transmit briefly not too long because I don't have the um, casing on which actually conducts the uh, heat so you don't want to transmit too long but I'm just going to show you something quickly okay so this is uh, after the modification right as you can see the uh, harmonic content is pretty low we're looking at uh, minus 60 dBs and lower and your output is at uh, 37 dBn, which is about uh, about 5 watts approximately. So I'm going to put this back in the casing now, and uh, we can uh, have a look at changes. It's going to go even lower once it's uh, in the uh, casing.
Okay, I'm just going to put uh, two screws in here, <clears throat> and then uh, we'll do some tests and let's see what what it looks like. I'll put the battery on for this. Let's uh, zoom in here. Okay, so I'm going to transmit. You can see this is the fundamental frequency. <clears throat> this is your first, uh, second harmonic. As you can see, these these harmonics here are pretty low, and uh, even this one, yeah, I don't know if you can see. Let me just try and move the light here a bit. Uh, better. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So let's uh, let's transmit again, and there's your fundamental frequency. What we're transmitting on. And it's going up to about 36, 37 dBs. And this is your second harmonic, which is uh, nearly at minus 60. And the rest, minus 65 disappearing, it's pretty much in the noise level. So it, it's very, very low, the harmonics. I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, with one that's not uh, modified. Let's uh, put this one to the side a bit. Okay, I'm just going to get them un unmodified out of the box. <clears throat> okay, so this one's uh, unmodified. One thing I'll show you as well is um, the reception. The, um, with the modified one, the reception is a lot better as well. So let's just, uh, I'm just going to show you the harmonics on the unmodified version. And you can see how bad they are. Okay, here we go. Let me just stick it on FM. I need a carrier. <clears throat> okay. Gonna zoom in here a bit. Let's have a look. I don't know if it's uh, clear. Anyway. So I'm going to transmit the unmodified version and as you can see straight away we got uh, quite high harmonics on uh, 137 MHz, uh, the airband 82 MHz and the frequency that we're transmitting on there's uh, hardly uh, anything going out there. Most of the power is going out uh, on these frequencies here which is pretty bad. So for anybody that's uh, gonna not do the modification and just transmit out of the box it's not a good idea because you're gonna be transmitting everywhere and uh, there's a lot of harmonics it's um, I've only set this up to 220 megahertz but I'm pretty sure this goes all the way to 400 500 megahertz even a bit more so yeah not a good idea to transmit uh, out of the box without uh, doing the modification Let me just show you the reception quickly. Um, I'm going to leave it here on FM. Signal generator. Frequency 7.555. So, minus, um, let me have a look here quickly. Okay, so minus, minus 70 dBm should give you about a signal 9. 
and it's only giving a signal 7. Let's uh, go down a bit and see the sensitivity. Yeah, so minus 10 and uh, we can hardly hear the signal. Yeah, there's not, not much uh, signal at minus 10 and let's see at minus 20. No signal. So that's the unmodified version. So it's a good idea to, um, with, with the, uh, the modification for 11 meters, 12, 11 and 10 meters, it's a good idea to do the receiver as well. So I'll show you the, the um, uh, modified version, which was this one that we were testing. Switch that on. Well, I don't have a speaker. Let's plug uh, this one in. <clears throat> so I don't know if you can hear that. Minus 20 dBm and we still got a bit of a signal there. Signal 1. Plus 10. Got a good signal. Let's go to minus 70. And uh, as you can see we have a signal 9. So it's pretty good. The sensitivity is good. The transmit power is pretty good. Harmonics are very, very low. So uh, good idea to do the modification. Let's uh, well, let's have a look at the power output on the uh, SWR meter. It's going to plug the uh, SMA in. SMA to BNC. Can zoom out a bit. I'm just uh, testing into a dummy load. Okay. There we go. Four and a half watts. So yeah, that's it. That's the uh, modification for 10, 11 and 12 meters. And um, yeah, like I say, it's a good idea to do this modification if you want to use it on uh, those frequencies because as, as you've seen, without doing the mod modification, you're going to be transmitting on uh, other frequencies. And um, that's where the problem is. So anyway, thanks so very much for uh, watching. And uh, I hope you uh, learned something from uh, doing part 1, part 2, part 3 and part 4 uh, in the videos. And if you have any questions, uh, just let me know. Okay, just for demonstration purposes, um, I'm going to show you the harmonics from this radio, which is the Albrecht uh, AE2990. And you can uh, see the difference between the two. Just power it up quickly. Transmit. Yeah, so as you can see, the fundamental frequency, uh, 37 dBn, and we have a small harmonic of minus 60 on the second, the second harmonic. So as you can see, the 
difference between the Quan Sheng and uh, the Albrecht is not much difference. Uh, it's pretty low level, so there's nothing to worry about. I'll show you the Quan Sheng again. Let's uh, power up the Quan Sheng. Okay, so let's transmit. And there you can see pretty much uh, the same sort of uh, readings. The harmonics on the air band are pretty much in the noise level. It's about minus, minus 70 about, so uh, yeah, we're getting ex exactly the same sort of reading as what we have on the uh, Albrecht. 